It's a force protection issue. Representative Jess Edwards says any attempt to disarm House members creates a vulnerable atmosphere inside the chamber. The number one goal of the letter itself was just to simply say uh, to the extremists out there who may be watching the House behavior that um, uh, even though this rule exists, do not be comfortable in assuming that we're unarmed. The eight reps are also questioning the House's ability to pass a rule on anything other than proceedings. The House doesn't have the authority to strip constitutional rights because that's a higher order of precedence when you take a look at where we uh, take our authority. Speaker Steve Shirtleff disagrees. I know they referred to natural law um, as part of their argument and, uh, and we actually don't go by natural law. We go by the laws. Uh, that the legislature has passed and in uh, the rules of the House that the members pass. This is not the first time the House has had this debate. During the 2013-2015 session, several representatives ignored a weapons ban. Speaker Shirtliff says the penalty for carrying a firearm on the House floor can range from being asked to leave to an arrest. But he says he doesn't think it will come to that. And the idea that a, a member of the New Hampshire legislature a body that does pass laws is saying we are not going to follow a rule ourselves is sets a bad example. And now that the New Hampshire Senate does not have a weapons ban and leaders on that side say they do not plan on changing that. Reporting at the State House, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.